Fuse Theater was started in 2015 by founder Stacy Ardeleen. The mission and name of the company was developed in the way Stacy most likes to work, collaboratively and in community. Work sessions accompanied by backyard dinners brought colleagues and friends together to question, suggest, and ultimately name the theater, a process laying the foundation for collaborative work and collective creativity. Early projects of Fuse exemplified the values of equity and accessibility. Tomas and the Library Lady Tour put Latinx characters and stories on stage in community centers, libraries, and schools. Jay Adon Ruiz first came to Fuse as Papa Grande. Fuse has participated in multiple community events, including the STEAM and Chalk Art Festivals in Redwood City and the OYE Conference at the College of San Mateo as well as multiple workshops at libraries and the San Mateo County History Museum. Fuse's long partnership with the Sequoia High School's Dream Club began in 2016 to empower youth voices. Students creatively highlight awareness around challenges faced by undocumented students and their families. Most recently, Fuse hosted the Dream Club's virtual celebration and fundraiser during the pandemic in 2020. By amplifying community voices, Fuse was able to produce The Unfinished Story of Ducktown, a community play. Fuse collaborated with the Ducktown community in Redwood City to tell their story behind the closure and eviction of this waterborne community. Using community workshops and collaborative playmaking, Fuse produced a one-act play featuring nine actors, three from the Duck Dang community. In 2019, the Fuse production season included Cinderella Eats Rice and Beans, the second youth touring play featuring strong Latina leads and one non-binary character, Lily's Wings, a play about human trafficking for youth, and the first Redwood City Play Festival titled Gender Shorts was a collaboration with Dragon Theatre. Because I Went There was developed by Hedvig Flores with Fuse and featured as one of the plays in the Gender Shorts Festival. Our final production for 2019 was Chelsea Unzner's Echoes of Them, a collaboration with New Ground Theatre Dance Company. In 2020, Fuse's planned productions included a second tour of Lily's Wings, Three Sparks in the Dark, as our entry for the Bay Area Women's Theatre Festival featuring three original plays because I went there, Echoes of Them, and Being Me is ridiculous. The second annual Redwood City Play Festival coexists, again co-produced with Dragon Theater and a TYA touring program featuring Tomas and the Library Lady, Cinderella Eats Rice and Beans, and Senora Tortuga for the 2020-21 school year. Ending the year with a new performance collaboration with the Quinteto Latino for a new musical composition, Mitos. And then in March of 2020, as we all know, the world changed. The pandemic shut down all businesses for an unknown and undefined period of time. Within days, our world had shifted. Fuse, like many companies, refocused ourselves to online programming and within a month had totally produced our Three Sparks in the Dark productions online, offering one play each week on YouTube with a meet and greet session with the actors and playwrights a few days later on Zoom. The second annual Redwood City Play Festival, Coexist, also moved to an online format. The Lily's Wings tour was canceled. And then the world changed again. The long overdue reckoning of systemic racism faced our nation. We no longer could avoid the uncomfortable conversations. Fuse extended the Coexist Festival with Draken to create platforms for BIPOC and LGBTQ artists and stories through 2020. Fuse also began to facilitate anti racism community conversations, workshops, and book talks online. Fuse produced three other online productions at the end of 2020. What We Remember, developed by Jaya Don Ruiz, and Doi, Sharn Suprinder, and playwright Chelsea Unsner. Being Me is Ridiculous, written and performed by Hannah Rachel Gary with The Marsh, and Jumu, written by Anju Hibbelay. Fuse also began to look inward to find and change structures 
within the organization that are inherently racist. Fuss had the typical hierarchical structure found in nearly every theater company across the nation. In this structure, the artists have little or no control over artistic or financial decisions. Stacy formed a core group of artists to build something different. Through months of collaborative work, Sparks was developed. Sparks is an artist collaborative supporting the work of Fuse. All members have a responsibility to make creative and financial decisions about programming. The board continues to oversee the health of the organization, but is led by the Sparks Group. Fuse is still dedicated to making theater that matters, but the perspective of what matters has expanded with new voices. 2021 will bring new challenges for our nation and world. Fuse will continue to thrive on the value we place connecting communities, empowering voices, and creating equity through education, performance, and partnerships.